Hey fellas, it's 265, there's one big old ass house. Just want to give you a look at the, the room now. It's got the first coat of prom on it. And uh, looks pretty good. I already went and audited yesterday. Yesterday was Friday, today is Saturday, January. I don't know, 22nd, 23rd, somewhere around there. So, uh, just want to kind of show you all when picked up the, the LED lights. Haven't put them in yet because I still got them when picked up some paint. Um, picked up, the, uh, I didn't pick up the, they're going to deliver the crown molding on, uh, on Monday. So, um, you know. It's going to take about 72 feet, you know, so let's say about 80 feet, and an order 96 though, because I need it, because I'm not so sure how good my cutting skills are going to be. But what today I'm doing is, uh, we're going to do a general cleaning in here, uh, well pretty much a real good cleaning, got a lot of dust and stuff like that. Uh, what I am doing right now is cleaning all the the mud and everything around the, um, the receptacles. And what you can see right here, I did these, and you got some, uh, you know, some mishaps from the, so they use the little uh, Dremel router looking thing. Yeah, you know, I see over here. See right there? See how they got the nice hole? So those are the things, those places I'm gonna have to fix. Um, the boxes that I have are pretty cool. Let me show you this. You can, see if I can do this one handed. You can move the box in and out. Hold on, let me see if I can uh, do it with my right hand. I can't do it with my left hand. Get that box out. See how you can move that box out, which is pretty cool. So I'm making sure all the boxes are flush. And you can buy them at Home Depot. Uh, probably Lowe's too, I'm not sure, but I know they sell them at Home Depot. These are actually made for old houses, like mine. You know, um, everything ain't square and stuff like that. And, and the reason why I'm doing this, you know, see, man, this guy's nuts, is because look, see what the sheetrock guy does? So I gotta trim all that out, make it all so this box can move in and out. So, you know, hopefully next week, um, we start on the, on the crown, hook up all the wiring, get all that done and stuff like that so um, that's where we at went and bought some uh, the seal back here some grout I'll seal all that up you see the hole my wife ain't gonna ain't gonna deal with that gotta seal that up she can't stand roaches and in these big old houses you get those big those big roaches every now and then that come from outside and they'll find a way in we don't have no little bitty roaches thank god those things are a pain in the butt you can't get rid of them so um we don't have any of those i think they call those little german roaches but those big cockers that's what my, my wife calls them little big old cockers you know and she can't deal with those so everything needs to be sealed up you know so uh I'll seal that up for her so she's nice and comfortable in the kitchen. She don't have to worry about anything coming, or at least thinks that it's going to come through there, which it might, might not, who knows. Uh, these I'm going to have to redo. Um, so I'm going to have to take these out, re-sandblast them, and then uh, I got lazy and I used that can clear. Um, out of a spray can it wasn't automotive it was just that spray can clear and it didn't uh didn't seal it good enough so it's kind of rusting a little bit 
I mean, I don't know how bad it looks, but you know, it looks a little, it's not as shiny as I want it to be, so I gotta redo those. But going around doing all these, got that wall done, got that wall pretty much done besides that one right over there. You know, that one's gonna be a, a nasty. And uh, I'm gonna sweep it all down, and vacuum it all up, and um, just move forward. If I run out of thing, I'll paint the ceiling. Trying to trying to figure out the colors of the walls. I know we're going with a tan. We just don't know how light of a tan we're gonna go. And then we also got to figure out what color is gonna go on the. You know, it's gonna be a white, but it ain't gonna be a white white. It might be like a eggshell or an oyster or something like a creamy looking white. Um, something like that, I think. So, just wanted to give y'all an update. The room did come out really nice. I guess you can hear the echo. I am really ecstatic, you know. Um, but um, little by little, these little miscellaneous jobs really slow everything down. I've been doing this for the last 45 minutes to an hour at least. You know, um, had to go clean up the vacuum cleaner and. I so vacuumed all the attic, so that was disgusting. So I cleaned that before I even attempt to do this. I'm trying to get all the mud and stuff off of all the receptacles. You know, they got mud all on it. On the receptacles and stuff, so I'm cleaning those as I go. See how that one sticks out the wall? And I can just uh, screw it in and it'll go in. Some of them are bad, some of them ain't that bad. I think this one's got mud all right here. You know, you, you feel the paper tape, and if you try to bring the box out, it just crack all that up. So, you got to cut it. And, um, so, so I just wanted to give y'all, I guess you called us an update. Um, and that's about it. No, it's going to look pretty good. All right, fellas, later.